I only, or I try at least, to work on products that I myself use because it means that I have a user I can talk to every single second of the day, right? I can talk to myself, I can use my own product and see how good it is for me personally. So I try to build a product around my needs first and then I kind of extrapolate that. So I, I you know, if I pick a very specific use case for, you know, for Gumra that was like selling this icon. I wanted a tool that would let me sell this icon. So I built that and then I thought about, okay, this tool lets you, you know, lets me specifically sell my icon. How do I make this tool more generic or, you know, um, more wide, I guess, to allow, you know, songs to be sold for other people, like people with big followings versus small followings and things like that. And it just requires a lot of time and effort and just like thinking through how a user looks at your product because every single person looks at it differently and kind of communicating it without having, you know, like do this, then do this, like, you know, tutorials on the site. I, I'm, like trying to make it implicit in the design is, is the challenge. But it just requires a lot of time and effort. I've been doing this for like six years now. Um, so it, takes a, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, so I, I think the biggest, especially with mobile, the, the, the best design is the most intuitive design, right? So I think anything that the user doesn't really care about should ideally be not there, not present at all. And I think that everything that is on the screen, like a user should know what to do with it, right? So don't label a more button dot, 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 because users don't know what that means, right? Label it the action, you know? So if you look at a lot of the apps, especially Apple, I mean, the best thing about mobile is you have Apple to look at, you know? So anything that I design, I'm like, okay, what what's most similar? Like, what product is most similar to this that Apple has designed, or another pro, uh, you know, another company that I really respect in terms of the design has it designed? And look at that and basically replicate, you know. So like the tab bar is a you know is an interface element that that most users will understand, right? Because they've been exposed to it in the iPod app, and you know in the contacts app, the phone app, like all these things have that navigational element, so people understand that. Um, and so I, I always do that. I try to rely on what users are already used to so they don't have to learn like a new paradigm, you know, to use your app. Um, so ideally like the most native you can get is the best, but I, I do think that, you know, having flair is useful, but it doesn't really contribute to too much, as much as just intuitive design does. You know, like it's very stressful to see things on your phone that you don't have any idea what they do. You know, and for me it's like, okay, I know this dot dot dot's not gonna make my phone explode, right, but a lot of people are super paranoid, you know, like, they're, you know, you, if you've ever sat down with someone who doesn't use it, isn't that tech savvy, and like, they will not touch that button. They're like, what if this deletes my songs on my phone? What if this like removes my contacts? What if this makes me tweet it out to all of my followers? Like, people are really scared. So I think making it clear without having to like spend like a paragraph saying exactly what this button does is, you know, the key. And the best way to do it is to, you know, to take a button you know, a plus sign, and everyone knows what that is because every single app, you know, every single one of Apple uses either the compose or the add, you know, symbol. And if you use those, then all users understand, okay, it's probably gonna add, you know, for a new contact or a new pin or whatever, or if it's composed, you know, I'm gonna create a new object, whether it be, you know, a message or a tweet or an email or things like that.